He has a very diverse background. After spending time in the U.S. military, he earned a degree in biology, and then switched directions a little bit and went to the Cordon Bleu and became a chef. <laughs> Um, he now owns his own restaurant in Hagerman, Idaho, and has an internet television show called Cooking on the Wild Side. He brings 35 years of experience to, um, to you to here today, and it's an honor to have him here. Right. Thank you. I'm very honored to be here. This is my third trip coming to China and uh, working with products from the United States and uh, I'm very honored to be doing this. I want to introduce my uh, assistant, my help today. This is Orville Troop, uh, part of the staff at the Wonderful Win, and uh, with his help, he's helping me make this happen today. So, thank you. Uh, this next one's really cool. This is done with a, uh, the pork collar. Um, this is really a neat, real unique cut. I love it because of the, the uh, enormous flavor that comes out of the pork collar. A lot of people don't know where that comes from, but if I tell you the Boston butt, we don't know where that name came from either. I asked him when I went to put on blue, and he said, nice been around. And uh, he said, no, no, you Americans named it that. And I said, we did not. But uh, it comes from the shoulder, right? Where the shoulder blade goes into it, and that's where the top of the loin and the muscles are starting to come into the neck. And that's where all your flavor, you get this really concentrated flavor. Um, we use that, we make a sausage in our restaurant, and we make our breakfast sausage, that kind of thing. And that's what we use for that, because it has such an enormous flavor level to it. I, I just love it. And so what's fun about this is that um, it's great for a hot pot or that kind of thing with your vegetables because um, it brings so much to the forefront. A little bit of uh, the uh, sea salt down it, that's all you need. Um, and this, so when I do it and use it in sautés, I just do it fast, fast, fast. I don't want to overcook it, so I get everything else really rocking and rolling on it. And then I almost add the meat last because I just kind of want to just bring it up in temperature. I still want to paint. You're done deal. Okay, what I did was, I brought my uh, my mushrooms, oh, I got some nice color on them. I just added some uh, wedge cut uh, bell peppers, this is red and green bell peppers. I added some capers to this. I'm going to add, uh, here you go, some Kalamata olives. And this is the collar here. If that's coming, I'll get that stirred. Because this is all, and the vegetables, all I want to do is warm them up. To me, any vegetable that I can eat raw, I don't want to cook the dickens out of it. I just want to bring it up to temperature, done. Why? Because you have it you cooked away all your vitamins and the goodies that are in it. You maintain nice color, has a nice bite yet to it. If you just warm it up, you maintain the, the natural flavors. You haven't cooked them away. Um. Oop, I got to get my hand. Or we'll give me a hand if I miss something, man. Eh? All right, and, and add a little bit of onion to this. I, I like the red onion in, in this case. It brings some nice flavor up. We're just about there. We're going to be using one of Portionable's uh, sauces again. This is their uh, marinara, and uh, it just blends so well. I mean, you do a freshen up like this, and, and add your portionable marinara to this, it just is on the tongue. It, it just brings the life out, and it matches so well with the uh, Santa Fe Farm Farmers Pork. This collar, see, we just took and we thin sliced it, and uh, just sliced it really, really thin, and put it into a uh, you know on your board, and then I cross cut it again, uh, just a little one inch strip, but. Uh, because it'll cook so fast. Oh boy, I'm almost yeah, here we go. Okay, in this case, I'm just breaking, breaking it up, separating those strands over there a little bit. Give them a spin. 
they're still pretty red, but that's what I want. It's getting warm, but that's it. I don't want to cook it any more than that, because as it heats up in the uh, marinara sauce, it's going to finish on out. But I, I, I've turned the heat wide open, and I want this thing to come up temperature quick and be done. Okay, that's it. I mean, that's, it's, it's, it's there. I still have some red color in there. I mean, that's pretty, if, you, if your guys are online doing the cooking, getting those odors out, you can be moving this stuff. That's pretty cool. And uh, plus that, uh, that pork collar is gonna bring a, just a ton of flavor to this. And it's gonna blend well with the vegetables. As you can see, I added a little bit too much to the portionables. I mean, it doesn't take very much of that. The, the flavor in the, these portionable cubes is, is so incredible. It doesn't take a lot. Um, yeah, I got a little excited, but that's fine. I'll let it sit off to the side. But, um, okay, I'm going to plate this up. And we're going to do this one, too. We're going to spin this two different directions. We'll take one of uh, uh, Wilcox uh, potatoes, and uh, we're going to go to the center of the plate with that. Oops, we're going to shut everything off where we're at. Okay. And we're just going to pop that open and uh, just top dress that. I mean, what a nice presentation. What's nice about these potatoes? The skin. I mean, it, it, it's just so cool. I mean, it tastes so great. It brings so much. These are great potatoes. I'm proud to be coming from the state of Idaho. I, I snuck in there 20 years ago. And uh, I'm glad they let me in because I sure have enjoyed it. But, but since I got there, I found that the, uh, the products that are being produced and the, the fresh fruits, vegetables, and the meats, the integrity of the people there, it's just, you know, I'm honored to be, a, to be there, to be a part of it. We have it right there in our backyard. And there you have it. Isn't that a fun presentation to put that on? And a good baked, baked potato. And then we take one of the uh, Fresca tortillas. Check that out, man. I mean, that was like eight minutes ago. It feels like, it smells like, and all the different flavors that these are. It's pretty cool. This is a basil. It has basil in it. Okay. I want to thank you. I want to thank you folks so much for the opportunity for me to be able to come here. Uh, being the third trip here, I'm starting to see faces, my new friends from this part of the world. It's become so global, and, and, and it just I love it. Um, if you, uh, I try to keep track of people and keep you posted what's going on and with, with, with these wonderful companies. If you just Google me, uh, my name will come up, and if you give me your email address, I will respond, and I'll, t I'll help tell you folks where you can find and follow up with some of these companies. I'd be more than happy to do that, and uh, I'll offer that. But uh, I thank you so much for it because I learned so much from doing this. You guys think, yeah, I, I learn a hundred more times because you do your homework and your research and you dig into it. I love, I'm having more fun today than ever before. I'm learning more faster today than ever before. So thanks for uh, the opportunity.